VoiceOver also comes equipped with a practice screen where you can go and practice all the different hand gestures that you can do. With this screen active, VoiceOver will announce what you've done every time you touch the device and it will also announce what that gesture actually does in practice. So let's go to our practice screen. We're going to start by going to the settings window. Photo settings. Okay, I'm going to double, double tap to open. I'm going to double tap on there. Settings. And we're going to make sure that general is selected. Air Wi-Fi notif location brightness picture for selected general button. Okay, general is selected, and we're going to come to the main content area in the center of the screen. B bullet swipe up to review multitasking bar. Rows and 11 to 20 of 20. And we're going to find the accessibility win uh, the accessibility item. International accessibility button. Towards the bottom of the list, and double tap on that. Settings vision. Heading. Great. So once the accessibility window is open, what we want to do is go into the voiceover window. Voiceover on. Okay. Button. Double tap on that. Settings. Voiceover on. Great. Double tap to toggle setting. And we're going to look for the practice button. So to activate the select to scroll, flip voiceover practice button. Okay. So it's called voiceover practice button. I'm going to double tap on it. Voiceover practice heading. What happens here, basically just touch the screen and VoiceOver tells you what you just did and what that action performs. The way to interact with the screen is basically just touching it anywhere. So I'm going to actually move into the main area. I think there's a little announcement that it makes the first time you touch it. Practice VoiceOver gestures, commands, and typing in this area. Select the Done button in the top right corner and double tap to exit. So there's a button that's labeled Done, D-O-N-E, up at the top right. So when I'm finished, I can double tap that just to get out of the screen. There are a few types of gestures that you'll be using as you use your iPad. They can be classified into tapping or touching the screen, flicking on the screen, which means you're going to be sliding your finger or fingers in multiple directions, which we'll explore in, in a moment. And then also using the rotor, which kind of combines the gestures or the combination of two motions or two hand gestures, one being stable and the other one moving. Let's just kind of explore for a minute. I'm just going to start with one finger and see where, where that kind of takes us. And I'm going to just touch the screen. Touch. Select item under your finger. VoiceOver refers to that as touch, even though it is technically a tap. Right? It's a single tap of one finger because when I touch the screen with two fingers, two finger single tap, pause or continue speech, right? It calls it a single tap. Or when I, when I touch it with three fingers, three finger single tap, speak page number or rows being displayed. Okay. So there's, there's a lot of information and it's like every time you add a finger, something changes. And let's get back to the, the flicking motions. Flicking is a way of moving or navigating on the screen. So whether you're using one or two or three fingers, these flicking motions pretty much do the same thing. It's just the scale at which that they do them, right? So I'm going to flick. Well, let's, let's let voiceover do a little talking. Flick right. Move to next item. Flick left. Move to previous item. Right. Flick up. Move to previous item using rotor setting. And Flick down. Move to next item using rotor setting. Right. And that's just with one finger. And so, and again, as I add fingers, what my flicking motion does changes. So with two fingers, if I flick up. Two finger flick up. Read page starting at the top. Two finger flick down. Read page starting at selected item. Right. And then I notice if I flick to the right, it doesn't say anything with two fingers. Or if I flick to the left with two fingers, it also doesn't say anything, which means that particular hand gesture doesn't actually have an action associated with it. And let's look at what three fingers flicking does. Three finger flick down, scroll up one page. Right, and... Three finger flick right, scroll left one page. Right, so we can infer that uh, if we're using three fingers flicking in any direction, it would mean that we're moving a page in, in any one of those directions. Again, if we want to tap, we might want to start adding multiple taps to, to the screen. So let me tap twice with one finger. Double tap activates the selected item. Okay, double tap with two. Two finger double tap. Start and stop the current action. For example, starts and stops playback of music and video. Okay, so or with three fingers. Three finger double tap. Toggle speech on and off. Okay, here's where I can actually mute 
voiceover, even though it's still running in the background, I urge everybody to be quite careful about this one because if your uh, device stops talking, you may have some difficulty using it. Um, you can also access the rotor. So the rotor requires the use of two hands or two fingers. One of them is stationary. Touch. Select item under your finger. Rotate clockwise. Select next rotor setting. Right, or uh, and then with the other finger, you're going to make a clockwise or a counterclockwise motion. Rotate counterclockwise. Select previous rotor setting. Okay. Um, so this is an excellent place to come and kind of play for a little while and just figure out what what uh, each motion does. And then as you're getting acclimated to each of these motions, you'll see that it, they become a little easier. And then once we're done, I'm going to find the done button and double tap it with one finger. 66% done button. So voiceover on. And we're back on double our voiceover tap to screen. Setting. And we're back on our voiceover screen. And there you have practicing voiceover hand gestures.